Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a quiz on Canva. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you create a quiz in Canva? Well, it's actually pretty easy considering how Canva is actually set up. So we all know Canva is a platform for you to start editing uh, posts, presentations, or even videos on their platform. Now in this case, you could actually create quizzes here if you're not aware yet since uh, quizzes are a form of presentation. Now in this case, what we need to do first is we need to go to canva.com, log in into our account, and you should be able to see the main UI here for our, our Canva account. Now in this case, what we need to do first is we need to search for templates that is related to quizzes. In this case, at the top section here, just type in quiz here and just press on enter. Now it's going to suggest different templates that you could actually use on Canva or for your quiz, which is something really cool because in this case, we don't have to do much whenever we're creating our quiz. Now, maybe I want to use this specific presentation here for my quiz. So let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, let's just go ahead and click on customize this template. Now, in this case, it's going to give us this next page here. So what we need to do next is you just need to click on apply all 10 pages. Now, it's going to give us the following options and the following pages that we could actually access and use for our quiz. Now, the great thing here about um, Canva is we could just readily use the available formats that we see here. Now, in this case, we have our first. It's going to be the uh, a welcome page here which is a trivia a quiz section next page is going to be how to plays so in this case it's going to give us information on how to play it to answer the question multiple choice and complete the word now also we have the, the three um option here so are the um are they ready so let's go ahead and get started so we have our first question so what is the largest mammal in the world and we just need to en enter the following result for that now in this case you might be wondering how do you change certain aspects on it like for example you want to change the questions on it well in this case whenever you hover over something on an element here in canva you can go ahead and just click on it and as you can see i'll be able to change the uh question on it like for example instead of mammal maybe i want to say it is going to be a reptile now in this case you could go ahead and just press anywhere here to basically enter your uh, changes here and just click on the next page and from here you just need to change the answer on it now in this case you could do go ahead and do this for any other sections that you have now in this case if you want to uh, basically add more questions what you need to do is you just need to basically like for example you want to add another complete a word uh, question here you could go ahead and just right click on this specific page here and you could go ahead and do click on duplicate page and just move it in the very end here and duplicate the answer page and from here you move it again at the very end so it's actually pretty simple especially how it's actually set up but you might be wondering how do you create your own so how do you create something from scratch well that would be a uh, kind of difficult because uh, we'll have to do everything from scratch so in this case how do we do it so in this case i'm going to click on the plus button here and it's going to create me a, a new section so let's just go ahead and click on the plus buttons here to create new sections here since we want to create a new format for this specific quiz now in this case how do we add it so first things first is we want to add our elements so let's go to the element section here and we'll be able to see certain elements that we could use so if if you haven't used um, Canva before, uh, this is a great way for you to start learning it. In this case, uh, there's going to be a lot of things that you can do here. Like for example, you could add shapes to uh, your presentation here or bubbles or hearts or any other type of um, image here. Now also, I also have the section here to add text. So if you click on add text box here, you'll be able to add a new text box here. So maybe I want to say this is the question. Uh, and from here, we want to go highlight that. And you could also change the format of it. Like for example, changing the font family if you want to. And also to ch change the size of it. Like it, you could also type in the size that you want to hear. Like for example, I want to say this is going to be around 50. Just press an enter. As you can see, it's now a lot bigger. 
Now, you also have the option like to change the color for it, make it underline, make it strike through, or even make it uppercase or lowercase. You also have the formatting options here like alignment, the effects, the pop, and position. Now, for example, if you want to add like certain animation, on it, you can go and click on the uh, the option here, just in between effects and position. And you have the pan, the fade, and the wipe here. So you can choose whatever here and choose whatever uh, type of format that you want to use. In this case, I'm satisfied with this one. So let's go ahead and just enter it here. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to add other certain elements that would make our presentation actually really interesting. So you have the option to upload images that you have. Like for example, I want to use this image here. So in this case, you can go ahead and start adding that. And from here, uh, we could go ahead and just remove it around. So you could uh, basically click on the edges here to make it bigger or smaller, depending on what you need. Now, in this case, you could also draw if you want to or use the project option or apps here, which is integration, further integration or further customizations or on your project. But in this case, we won't be using much on this one. We're just going to use start or start using the uh, elements that we have here. Now, in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to um, start adding our um questions so in this case maybe this is going to be the question so this is just an example let's just position uh, something in here so maybe i want to say i want to make it bigger a lot bigger and in this case we want to add our choices now now to do that we could use or utilize the elements here in this case i want to say i want to use a certain shape here i believe i saw one of the shapes that i could use here let's just click on see all and from here we want to use this one so let's go ahead and choose this one. And from here, whenever you click on a certain uh, section or shape here, you could actually change what it actually looks like. So I'm going to make it white here and we could go ahead and make it a lot whiter and make it a lot thinner. And we could go ahead and do that. Now, maybe I want to say this is going to be uh, the first choice. And from here, we could also add an A on it. So we'll just add A. And from here, we want to make it uh, change the alignment here to the uh, right section. But we also want to add some uncertain space on it. So let's just add some um, space on it. And from here, that's going to be good. Now, from here, we could go ahead and duplicate this one by clicking on it and just clicking on duplicate option here. Make it a two times because we want to add a, C, a B and C on it. So in this case, maybe I want to say this is going to be the second choice here. So let's go ahead and do that. And from here, we could go ahead and do a third. Now in this case, you could go ahead and uh, edit whatever here. So depending on how you actually style your presentation here, everything could change. So you could go ahead and cert uh, copy certain elements if you want to. Like you could go ahead and uh, go in here. Just copy this cloud here. Let's just go and click. All right, click on it. Click on copy. Go back into your presentation. Just press on uh, Control V to paste uh, whatever element that you just copied. And as you can see, we now have clouds on our project here, which is something really cool. Now, in this case, let's just add a few more here, and we should be good. So, by the way, if a certain element is copying uh, or is over a certain um, image here you could go ahead and press that image right click on it and just choose choose layer here and choose bring forward so in this case going to uh, bring it more front so also if you want to view the whole layer on it you could go and sh uh, choose show layers here as you can see this cloud is covering it is frog's mouth go ahead and make it at the top section here so that you'll be able to make the frog show at the very front now in this case uh, we could go ahead and uh, finish our style here now, how do we actually indicate our answer here? Well, you could go ahead and just add whatever elements that you have here. But again, the great thing about Canva here, it makes it, things a lot easier for us. So maybe I want to delete this one so we don't need this one. Let's go ahead and click on the uh, bottom section here, which is our slide here. You could go ahead and right click on it. And from here, just click on duplicate page. Go back into uh, the second page that we just copied. And from here, just choose whatever you have here. And from here, you could basically change the uh, element. Like for example, we want to change the color in it, make it green to indicate that this is the correct answer. Now, yeah, so this is how you create a canvas um, uh, 
Canvas quiz here. So also if you want to share this, you could go and click on share at the top right here and you could save this as a file. So you could go and click on download here and choose whatever format. So you have PDF, PPTX, PDF print, uh, MP4 video, PNG, JPEG, so whatever you need here. But in this case, just choose whatever here and click on download and you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.